So, um, welcome back to my channel, and as we all know, Christmas was, uh, Alexa, how many days ago was December 25th? December 25th, 2018 was five days ago. Five days ago, uh, turns out not all of us know it, only most of us, but, um, on Christmas, I got... Mm -hmm. Okay, Alexa. Um, on Christmas, I got three new items for my collection. I got one coin and two bills. Plus, I got some gift cards to the coin shop. So, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> So first up is the my Spanish eight reals. It's from 1788. Um, now the eight reals were made until 1825, um, and they circulated in the U.S. until the 1850s when uh, the and they were legal tender until the 1850s when the U.S. government uh, made it so that they weren't legal tender. And that's when everybody traded them in for um, U.S. coins. But there, they were circulating the U.S. up to the 1850s. This one is from 1788. Um... It's in around very good condition, I'd say. Maybe a little bit higher. Um, in very good condition, it's worth about $40. Now, in fine condition, they're worth $70, but it could be fine, but I think it's a very good. Um, it is, they are in the red book right here. Um, there's also half reals, one reals, two reals, four reals, eight reals. Um, now here is what the back looks like. So it's a pretty nice coin. <laughs> it's better on the back than on the front. So these were the basis for the first U.S. silver dollars. So the silver dollars that the United States makes are based off of the Spanish 8 reals. And the reason the Spanish 8 real ended in 1825 is because it evolved into the 1 peso coin. So yeah, that's it for the 8 real. Um, since I didn't really show it that well, here are some photos of the 8 real coin. There's two. After that, I have this Series 1914 large size $10 bill. Um, it's in, I'd say, very fine condition, but probably off by a little bit. Um, so there's the front. Um, as you can see, it's Andrew Jackson. Um, it's a blue seal, obviously. This is a red seal. It's much more scarce. And then on the back, there's two different scenes. Um, on this side, it's four horses pulling what looks like a, um, a hay harvester. And then on this side, it is what looks like um, a little industrial area with a bunch of box cars, um, on some railroad tracks. And although this is from 1914, it's not a silver certificate. It is a Federal Reserve note. And then the last item that I have is this Brown Seal 1935A silver certificate, but as you can see, it has a Hawaii overprint here, here, and then 
also on the back it has the Hawaii overprint across it and there's a reason that it has the Hawaii overprint so what happened is um, after Pearl Harbor was attacked in Hawaii the military was worried that the Japanese could capture Hawaii and then seize American money and spend it so on January 10, 1942, the U.S. government decided to recall all paper money on the island of Hawaii and decided to issue series 1935 notes with Hawaii overprinted on them. So that way, if Japan took control of the call uh, of Hawaii and started seizing these the bills, um, the American government could declare them worthless and they wouldn't have no buying power. So that was everything that I got. Um, I also got a blue book, um, some coin supplies, um, and a $75 uh, gift card to the coin shop. Um, so yeah. Bye.